Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me right here, right now. This right here is Kareem and the morning. Okay, welcome, 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 guys, to this edition of Kareem in the Morning. I am Kareem, and let me just go ahead and fix this up real quick. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay, so welcome, welcome right here, right now, yet again, uh, on another episode of Kareem in the Morning. I'm Kareem. And I'm so excited to be here. First of all, I just want to say that I am really disgusted about this whole Jesse Smollett bullshit. It is just getting too beside itself. Now, I said then and I'll say it again. I said that once when the jury come back with a verdict, once when they actually come back with something which I already knew they were going to be guilty uh, and he go to jail, it was going to be an end of saga so I guess I was wrong before I continue I would like to run my disclaimer and disclaimer disclaimer, read it also this channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13 Okay, so welcome. All right, so yeah, so I thought I was over this whole Jesse, the disgrace Jesse Smaller saga, which they just couldn't get any freaking crazier, guys. Listen, we already know the disgrace Jesse Smaller got out of jail because everybody want to hashtag free Jesse, free Jesse. But my thing is this the dude had to do 150 days, good, good time or Good behavior, he get out in 75. But in this case, he got out in seven, seven, seven days, okay? He said that he only drunk water. The dude looked like he, when he went in, he looked like he came out. Come on now, he could only drunk water because you would have lost weight for the past seven days. I did it, you could do it, he didn't do it, okay? He said he drunk only, only thing but water. If he did it, he got a lot of fat on him, okay? Anyway, so, guys, if it couldn't get any crazier right here on Cream in the Morning, I'm going to tell you that the disgraced Jesse Smollett lawyers is filing defamation lawsuit against the Austin Derrick brothers. What? Did, did you say that correct, Cream? Yes, I said it correct. This, is, this comes on the heels of when a federal judge had said it was okay for the Austin Derrick Brothers defamation lawsuit can go through, which they were filing against this moron. Now, the lawyers are saying that the disgraced Jesse Smollett is filing defamation against Austin Derrick Brothers. Why? Because they feel that this, that the brothers, okay, that the brothers actually really are the perpetrators how is that possible kareem because if that's possible kareem then that means that the disgrace jesse smollett uh uh testimony under oath when he went up on on in his own on in his own trial and testify and said that the defense or the suspects were white well, okay, well, they're white, well, are the Austin Durham brothers right? No, the Austin Durham brothers can't be white because they're actually, they're black. Okay, so first of all, here we say, we see in social media that, uh, that this, this just cannot get any crazier. First of all, the guy is out of jail right now pending an appeal. Okay, pending an appeal. And he had to pay $25,000 fine, and he had to pay the Cook County Police Department their part of the money, along with his $25,000 fine. But this guy is really trying to get some type of money so they can pay for his fines. 
They're not having it. The brothers are not having it. The court is not having it. Okay? They're not having it because this is going to be denied. Just like his appeal, his appeal denied. And when, when it's denied, he's going to go back to jail and he should not go. Oh, what is that, Kareem? You're saying, well, why is he out of jail on an appeal and they, they took him out? Okay, well, this is the thing. His attorneys are saying that he, the disgrace Jesse Smollett was double jeopardy, like he was charged at, within numerates. Within his first trial, within well, it was in the trial, Kareem, it was where he had forfeited that that $10,000 or the $100,000 bail and did community service at the Reverend Jesse Jackson's community center, that's when they're saying that this is double jeopardy because they, they're charging him twice. But then the prosecutor saying that, no, sweetie, no. No. I said this on my show, then I'll say it again. This motherfucker, at that time, I think he had over five counts and he was indicted by the grand jury. It was my saying then. I said, don't get excited. He's just been indicted. And then come to find out, this guy case has been dismissed after being indicted by the grand jury. Sealed. Shut and complete. And it takes millions of people to go through hell and hot water to get their record expunged and this negro gets his record expunged on that same day after he pulled a, a stunt in california using his brother's information uh, uh after he was charged with dwi this man is a moron the disgrace jesse smollett is a moron he's a pathetic He's pathetic, and I stand, me, me, myself, and I, for the LGBTQINA. This bitch, the disgrace Jesse Smollett, does not support anything. We do not represent that bitch. He is blackballed in front of fucking LGBTQINA. I promise you, bitch, because I tell you he used the most too sensitive things that we in America is facing. Racial profiling and motherfucking... Uh, filing a police report and saying that this man was gay bashed when knowing damn well that this man is lying all the way to the jail cell. He's going to be lying all the way to his grave. Okay? I'm telling you, it should not be accepted where this man is continuing to not stand up to the truth. We already know he's guilty. The law said he was guilty. Okay? His own peers said he was guilty. Okay, so my thing is that he need to go back to jail and he need to serve his time in solitary confinement or if, if they got rid of it, protected custody or whatever. Okay, we just know not a general population. Okay, he need to sit there and he need to drink more water, drink more water and think about what you did, bitch. Okay, think about what you did because it's not funny. It is not funny. You do not represent none of us. Then you see that bullshit he did in court when he stood up. He said that me, me, he stuck his fist in the LGBT. Nick, please. Boy, don't make me get hectic right here on Kareem in the morning, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm disgusted by this man's attitude, man. This man, I, I didn't know this man from crack, man, until I was watching Empire, bro. And then when they, that shit popped out, I was like, oh, Jesse Smollett. The disgrace Jesse Smollett. This nigga should be back, blackballed. He shouldn't be able to work. I don't give a fuck if he directed the Pope, bitch. Okay, you want to come out and you want you don't say nothing to the people. You don't say nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, and then you're gonna want to stand there and direct a film uh, uh, that you're doing for the LGBT. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Get out of here. Get out of here. The fuck you doing? Trying to trying to uh, 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 swindle your way back in into the heart. Please, we know what you did. We we didn't forget. It's all up there on social media. It's in the power of social media. All up online. You heard what that judge said, bitch. Don't let me replay it. Don't let me replay it. You did what you did, bitch. Okay? And now 
you're saying that you're gonna sue the Austin Dar brothers. Austin Dar brothers said they ain't having it, bitch. They said they are not having it. I don't even know why. I just don't even know why the attorneys. Now we already know, Kareem, that the attorneys, once they become your attorney, they 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 they, they got to lie and they gotta do everything in their powers to help this man because they're representing him. Okay, it would be crazy if they represented him and then they just didn't do anything for him because they were like, oh, my God, you're not representing me the way you're supposed to. Okay, he wanted to be the quiet boy. He wanted to stand there, walk away with his fists. Okay, and, and let, me make, let me make a correction, guys. Okay, everybody talking about the time he went out there uh, late night to get a Subway sandwich. Bitch, it wasn't even a Subway sandwich. It was eggs. It was eggs. He said it was eggs. Bitch, if you go up on MTO, bitch, the, uh, matter of fact, go down on the, but it's, it's in the description below. You can look at the video that the police had released, bitch. They're releasing everything. You will see that this man, this man literally had the rope around his neck and literally said that he took it off and put it back on. Let me explain something else if you haven't heard. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why there wasn't any cameras in the courtroom, it wasn't because of the ju the courtroom said that it was a no-no. It was because his, him, him, the disgraced Jesse Smollett and his team said no way. No fucking way that the judicial system provided a, a, a way for us to get it through the scratch orders. Okay? The discussion artist. It was because of him and his attorneys that said no. You want to know why he said no? Because we already know that if the cameras was rolling in that courtroom, okay, and he got on the stand and he testified in that filth that was coming out of that cesspool of his mouth, okay, and we heard and we would have heard about it, bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, my God. That was the reason why he did not want those cameras in the courtroom. Because we would have heard all that nasty, disgusting crap that would have come out of his filthy, cesspool mouth. Okay? And it's just, oh my God. That is the reason why those cameras wasn't allowed in there. It's because of his bitch ass. Okay? His bitch ass. And it's so disgusting because this man is still lying. He is still lying all the way to his jail cell. He is still lying. My God, my God, today, Lord, I said it then and I'll say it again. I really, really hope and I want to thank that judge who allowed the the the, the uh, defamation to move forward on Austin Durham Brothers. But this will never stand. It will never stand in court suing them. What did they do to you? What did they do to you? When all the evidence point back to you, the disgraced Jesse Smollett, what are they going to say in the court? And I got this, I, got, I mean, you know you're going to jail. You, you you know you're going to jail. Your bitch ass is going to jail because your appeal is going to be denied. We don't know when is it going to come. We don't know when it's going to come back. It'll probably come back a, a month, a year, six months. We don't know. Okay? It's going to take a minute. But I do know. I do know. He was also, uh, he was also given probation too. Okay? I do know that at some point... In the future, I'm talking about way in the goddamn future. I'm talking about in the century when people are looking in your archives, okay, and they're seeing all this. I, I know somebody's gonna try to pull a stunt.
They're going to try to pull one. They're going to try to pull one. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Now and into the future, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay? Because of the fucking shit that he done did. Because he still ain't come out and say nothing to the people. Just nothing. He ain't say nothing. Okay? Should he say something to the You damn right he's supposed to say something to the people. Okay? He keep, he keep using it. The LGBTQIA keep using it. The African American, he keep using it. Okay? He used something that they convicted him of. And yes, he do have something to say. You are not going to come out and think it's all good, baby boy. No, my nigga. No. Absolutely not. Oh, you saying, well, why R. Kelly didn't uh, want cameras in the courtroom either? I, I, I believe it was for the same reason. I believe because him, R. Kelly, and his defense argued that they didn't want it, the cameras in the courtroom. Why, Kareem? Because the filth that would have come out into social media from those cameras, oh, my God. Nobody didn't know, well, a lot of people didn't know R. Kelly was bisexual. Okay, they didn't know that he slipped his number, thought it was going to the manager when it was really going to the teenager boy who was at the, the drive through at McDonald's. Okay, it didn't, it, 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 I'm telling you, okay, this man is about to get sentenced for the, 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 the racketeering charge that he was convicted in last year. I'm talking about R. Kelly. Okay, and then he got up other charges in Minnesota and also, um, I believe it's Minnesota, Michigan, and uh, California. I mean, uh, Illinois. He already did the one in Brooklyn. Okay? But I'm talking about the disgrace, Jesse Smalling. Your appeal is going to be denied. Your appeal is going to be denied. Okay? Your uh, uh, defamation against the Austin Zara brothers is going to be denied. Okay? I really, really wish that the Queen Supreme Court with the highest judge across the land the judge judge t.s madison okay i wish you would be trying this uh this this case but right here on cream in the morning we are trying this case okay and i'm telling you it's denied bitch denied 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 oh boy i had to get that off off right real quick all right cool all right, so look, look, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you guys. Thank y'all so much for being here um, with, with me on Kareem and one. I know that is uh, uh, I'm off, and then I'm back on, then I'm off, and I'm back on, I'm off. Look, I do know, I want to say, even if there's no video that come out, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say, look, y'all follow me on Twitter, y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all follow me on my social media platform even if y'all on the blog page the blog page is updated y'all can talk to me on the blog page i'm on the blog page along with the volunteers with the people over there on the blog page i'm there okay you guys can go up there on the blog page or y'all could just go there and and um uh, tune into the stories that matters to you that's what we say here on kareem in the morning and across the platform now, let me just give you a little bit update on certain. That's crazy. That's crazy. My God today, Lord. That's crazy. Unbelievable. I am now just now seeing that a, 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 a plane crash of 132 people on board has now has become, become from a, a rescue mission to a recovery mission. Now that these people are now possibly deceased. Okay, deceased, and they have they're saying that there are photos and videos of this plane nose diving to the ground. My God, today. Oh my God, just thinks about when I when I travel and I'm on a plane. I just say, God, protect me in your arms in the name of Jesus, as you always do. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I do have some other news. Uh, if anything, let me just see here. But before I continue, let me just see if it pops up. Because I want to uh, let y'all know about what's going on with the Omega City News and Tokyo T and what's going on in America and how and how's the workout. Okay. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell y'all that on Instagram television, how, me, how, my baby, all right, how, that's House of Workout, will be making its debut, first episode appearance live, because that's what we like to do is live, with workout sessions. Now, I, 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 I've said this the last time that I was on Instagram television, I did say that I was using the Instagram television as a promotion, a promotion, a motivation, motivate a person or try to motivate somebody, but I had to realize that I had to motivate myself. So with that being said, I'm going to be coming to you guys, giving y'all tips on what you could use in your crib that basically you don't have to leave your house to go to the gym. You don't have to pay no no gym fee you can use in your home that you have in your bathroom, in your living room, and in your kitchen, okay? And some possibly in your shower, too. You can use these techniques and start yourself into on your upper body and then your lower body, okay? And things that you can use, such as saran wrap, to, yes, burn the fat around your waist and i'm talking about that's like using one of those wrap rounds but you only use it when you pretty much work out so when you're working out that sweat and everything that saran wrap is building up all that water weight and it's it's, it's breaking it down and it's now melting away it's a trick and i've seen lebron james do it and i've seen a couple of other people have that saran wrap on but it actually works but no tune in on instagram television with that special okay so, yes, yeah, so if there is any more breaking news, yes, and you know what? And I, I want to say congratulations to myself. All right, I want to say, uh, uh, I have to give it to myself because, um, I'm going to say, uh, actually, yesterday marked 31 days that I have been really true to the game, and I'm talking about true to the game because you know, when you're true to the game, when you're trying to lose weight and you trying to diet and you trying to do everything you possibly do you i mean when you diet you have to diet exercise and make sure you true to it with the number one slogan for uh uh how house a workout how is to lose weight you must what eliminate eliminate the fat Eliminate the oil, eliminate the butter, eliminate the sugary stuff, eliminate a lot of things that works for you, okay? Now, I'm still fighting, baby boy, but I know that when I show y'all on on Instagram television on how, how to work out, y'all will understand. And no, I'm not no Adonis. I'm not, I don't got no six pack. No, absolutely not. I don't. But I'm telling you, in, in we only in March, baby boy. We got April, May, June before the summer comes. And then when the summer comes, baby boy, you're going to be looking right because it's going to be hot and you're going to be out there. And everything that you did from that day past to this present day today has worked out for the good. Okay? Trust me. So join me on Instagram television. Okay? I've been drinking another more water water and tea okay so yeah so yes a pat on the shoulder for me okay. okay all right so yes without further ado ladies and gentlemen i just want to thank y'all yo thank y'all so much look, oh, 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 no, 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 no. look all right so the update for Kareem in the morning so yeah so yes guys you can join me on the blog page just go to the blog page i'm on the blog page now if I could show y'all real quick, let me just see if this um, pops up real quick. Let me just see. Yeah, shout out to everybody who is on here. Shout out to those who are here. Shout out to those who are on their way. Uh, let me just uh, go ahead and do this real quick. Okay, I just want to make sure if this came. Okay, it came up a little bit. All right, so look, guys. So when y'all see this, this is the blog page. So welcome to the blog page right here on Kareem in the morning. I'm just going to throw this in real quick. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, sugar. What's going on? All right. So um, this is the blog page. All right. So yes, uh, the blog page is updated. Uh, we try to keep the blog page updated, even if there's no video rolling. I do know, yes, my people's over there in Kareem Clemens, YouTube gaming. I did not forget about y'all. Y'all know I'm on 
steam workshop so y'all got me over there but here right here is uh the blog page now what i'm talking about where you can talk to me at if y'all come down here go to i'm, I'm doing it like y'all see it. go down here to talk show t okay this this area right here is an area that will be constantly updated like this video along with the video will be present here all right now if you come down here if you want to talk to me also you can come here and talk to me through the post here or you can oh not this one not this one this is to talk to t here that's to uh the corner now. but uh let me just come here is okay the session right here all right this also too on the, all the stuff information that i'm giving you guys is on the uh search engineers as well so just type in google uh omega studio news or talk show t all right and it'll all come up right here you can talk to me uh you see how it says open and close at 12 p.m these times are the times when you can hit me up you can submit your uh your email right here and when you submit your email right here this email will come directly to me and i will be able to talk to you now i know like some place some people had uh got uh, uh um uh, uh um what was it i think it was a text alert saying spaces i am part of spaces that is another way they are now expanding everything so now people can not only post and like and comment and stuff but they can also chat along with the blogger all right so these are the times that i am available and even when you go on to omega studio news on the uh the page it will tell you the times when when, when i'm available now it, it may have the times open and closed but it will see hours like uh tuesday 8 a.m to 5 p.m 8 a.m to 5 p.m that's when i'm available okay anywhere after that no so it's not just time available for open closed shops these are open and closing for times to speak to me and when i'm available online okay you have wednesday 8 a.m to 5 p.m Thursday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., okay? So that's uh, Thursdays. And then Fridays, 10 a.m. to 3.30 3 p.m. Those are the times that you can contact me. And after 3.30, if it's an emergency, it's not going to be dealt with until the next business day. Saturday and Sunday, close. There, You can text me or if I'm not, uh, you know, that's the whole time when I'm talking about where people need to divert from uh, the social media, you know, uh, uh, world just for a little bit and just go back into reality and just, you know, mellow from it. You know how some people don't want to watch the news, they don't want to watch the bloggers, they don't watch certain... Saturday and Sundays are the times when I will, you know, eliminate and just give myself some time. And then Monday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, so those are the times you guys can go and check those times out on the Omega Studio News social media uh, uh, engineers, okay? So again, these are the ways that you can talk. And then again, if you need or have a story that you would like to, uh, you know, give out or talk or share with the Omega Studio News, TSC TV, or Kareem in the Morning, you can just come right here, join the club, and bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for tuning in right here, right now. I am Kareem Clemens, and for more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Have a good one. Bye-bye.